Whenever she's been seen, something horrible happens. The story of the woman in black is the story of a haunting. It's a ghost story, but it's far more than just spooks and shivers. It's got every element you would want from a traditional ghost story. It's got a spooky house, it's got a very interesting protagonist, it's got an absolutely terrifying ghost. There's going to be a reason for the ghost to haunt. The reason she keeps haunting this place and causing certain things to happen is because she wants revenge for something that happened to her. She's somebody that can appear anywhere at any time. She's always present, never there. It's about what's in the corner of the eye, what you can't quite see. We're shooting this in a very harsh, black, contrasty way. So it's just constantly peering into the darkness. Who's there? I suppose when you're produced by Hammer, it's kind of hard to avoid the word horror. It's very exciting to be part of Hammer's revival. It's such a British institution. It's a little piece of cinema history. When I was a kid growing up, on a Saturday night when your mum and dad were out, you'd get a chance to watch some of the Hammer horrors and that would be magnificently scary. I think everyone remembers growing up with Hammer movies. The name is synonymous with horror. When you look back at them in the 50s and 60s, they are so stylish. They did create a chill at their time. Hammer films has a pedigree in horror and suspense films, and they were determined to see The Woman in Black made. What we felt about this was that this was a classic British ghost story. It was important that Hammer showed its credentials. I want to make scares that, that really linger with people, real chills, that when they walk out of the cinema, and they stay with them slightly. This film absolutely is, is, is not going to be one for the faint-hearted.